BioWare released the newest blog today and with more details on Anthem 2.0 update. The blog goes over skills and the new systems for Anthem. They started with the Javelin gameplay and the builds and I will give you a step by step breakdown on what to expect and how these things work. There will be 11 slots on your loadout whenever you open the game. Weapons will be divided into primary and secondary classes. Components will be replaced with what is now called mods and artifacts. Equipments and abilities will also have their own distinctive loadout screen. So what does this mean for 2.0 builds? Well, this time you will be able to unlock abilities instead of collecting the abilities themselves. But you can now modify specific abilities with specific mods. Builds will now have variations based on specializations, abilities, artifacts, and the synergies with primary and or secondary weapons. Inscriptions will exist to a certain extent to boost your build, but will no longer be the thing that you will rely on, so no need to keep on chasing certain weapons and trying to find the perfect role. So you don't have to keep on looking for weapons that have that cooldown and all that type of stuff. So now let's talk about skill trees. Each time you level up in the game, you are rewarded with a skill point like you do in most games. These skill points will be used to unlock passive and active abilities and specialization nodes. With each javelin, you will have three skill trees. For example, Ranger will have Captain, Longbow, and Soldier. These specialization selections will let you play differently because now you have those artifacts. These things are a new feature that lets you customize your builds even further. Each node in the skill tree will change the way your ability works. For example, unlocking an advanced skill might give you the ability to break armor or shields or turn your cluster missiles into a single powerful missile. Now with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about artifacts. Artifacts are like transformers attached to your back, like Optimus Prime carrying his trailer around. These artifacts can transform into different things based on whichever artifacts you have and the mods and the modification that they have in them. And of course, their abilities also vary based on the level of the artifact themselves. So you're going to have your common, your rare, your uncommon, your epic, and all that kind of stuff. And all this is meant to change or evolve the way you play in Anthem. And based on what I've seen so far, this is a really great thing for the game. When the game launches with a 2.0 update, it's going to feel like something different, something special, more like the beginning of a redemption arc for the game. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. That is all you need to know for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.